Hello everyone, Hani with The Beach Life, and I've got the top five things that you need to consider before booking a Carnival Cruise. These are very important things that I haven't seen in other people's videos, uh, so I thought I'd share them here with you. Uh, the first one on the list, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the website here and uh, bring it up on the screen. So the first thing is uh, the have fun, be safe protocols for Carnival. Yes, I know things have changed. Uh, the vaccination and testing isn't required for 15 nights or less, etc. I get that. I think what's important here here is that it's still required for 60 nights or more and those type of things are still um, not being shared as much so people will ask hey uh, do I need a vaccine or do I need testing and people are just saying no right and I'm, I'm talking mostly in like Facebook groups and things like that that I've seen so we just have to be really careful when you just say no you're not asking you should, should ask if you're trying to give a proper answer you know, is it 60 nights or more, this and that. So the reason why I'm putting this number one on my list is that I, I really encourage people to do your own homework, especially in this regard. So yes, you will still need a vaccine or test for 60 nights or more. There's also some testing, uh, sorry, des destination requirements that you need to be aware of. So again, the vaccination guidelines, the testing, et cetera, but again, the destination requirements that you need to be aware of. So come here, Get your information from Carnival, what Carnival's website. You know, don't try to rely on people that are just quickly answering your question without asking, "Hey, you know, what about this? What about that?" Um, again, I, I'm making this because I'm, I'm just seeing a lot of this happening in these Facebook groups, and it makes me cringe every time I see it, especially for something this important where you could potentially not be able to get on your cruise, right? So this is why I want to make this number one. So I will drop the link for this website uh, down in the description below so you have access to it. So again, number one, get familiar with the Have Fun, Be Safe protocols uh, off the Carnival website. Uh, again, uh, just kind of staying in that same uh, area with the Carnival website, they have a great help menu that's available to you. Uh, again, a lot of these questions that I'm seeing asked in the Facebook groups, I, 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 again, I, it's, it, it bugs me because people are basing, are basing their answers without asking some additional questions or just off of their previous experiences. And some of these people haven't cruised maybe in, in months or a lot, you know, some of them are you know, post COVID or excuse me, pre COVID. So again, you know, I'm just trying to help educate people and, and make you understand that, hey, there's other places for this information that are specific from the web, for, from the cruise ship, right? So this one is from Carnival and, and they're helping you. And this is where I go to. So when people ask me questions, I, I'll go to here to make sure I'm getting the most current information, that type of thing. And I'll, a lot of times I'll just copy and paste it right out of the website. So again, the Carnival help page, I'll drop this link down in the description as well. So you'll have access to that really a really good source of information. So make sure to check that out. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is the deck plans. Get familiar with the deck plans. Um, a lot of people will book and then later on complain and go, oh, I didn't know this and I didn't know it was gonna be here. I didn't know it was gonna be underneath the Lido deck or whatever, right? So so again, you know, this is your vacation. Ultimately, you're responsible for it, you know, yeah, yes, you can rely on your travel agent and your PVP and this and everything else, but you know, educate yourself a little bit, get familiar with all this information. I'm hoping that's why you're watching this video, right? That you're like, hey, oh, I really need to know this stuff, right? So here I am trying to help you out and try to point you in the right direction. This is for the Carnival Radiance, which is the one I cruise more. So I'm just kind of using this as a point of reference. All you have to do is a Google search, you know, Carnival panorama deck plan, Carnival Vista deck plan, et cetera. And, and most of that stuff is available just through a simple Google search, guys and gals. So listen, just make sure you're familiar with the deck plans and where you're booking your cabin. Very, very important. Again, that was number three. Let's move over to number four. Number four is uh, getting into a roll, they're called roll call groups. Uh, so uh, they're just specific sailing groups where you can meet other people that are sailing with you at the same time. This is from my one that's coming up here soon, the Carnival Radiance, December 2nd. Uh, as you can see, we have about 176 members, yeah, uh, in that group. <clears throat> it's just, um, it's a good way to meet other cruisers. Uh, people will create events. I'm actually hosting a meet and greet uh, on the first of the day, on embarkation day, and then hosting a cabin crawl. Not Kevin Carl, Bar Carl, Bar Carl on the second uh, uh, day, which is a C day. So, but I mean, you can see there's other things that people have uh, scheduled there for events and things like that. Just a fun way to meet other fellow cruisers. So, join that roll call group. And then there's also a lot of generic. Uh, groups for you know the different uh, cruise ships. Um, I have one that's a little bit more 
you know, like uh, rounded with the Carnival Long Beach Cruisers, with the Radiance, the Panorama, Miracle, Forensic, etc. There's ones that are just for the Radiance, just for the Panorama, just for the Miracle, etc. So there's there's just a ton of groups out there. Feel free to join as many or as little as you want. Um, every, every one of them provide different pieces of information. I cruise on the Radiance regularly, so you're going to get a lot of good uh, information on the Radiance for me. But I also have a lot of other uh, people in there that uh, cruise all the other ones, Panorama, Miracle, etc. That help out so hey come join this group if you're a west coast long beach cruiser or planning on cruising out here on the west coast so that's number four number four is join facebook groups lastly <clears throat> hey shameless plug right so join, join uh you know let's do some youtube research uh, this is my uh, YouTube page, but again, there's a lot of YouTubers out there providing great videos and uh, just go out and do a YouTube search and check out some of these uh, YouTube videos. Uh, again, that's that's mine there. And uh, let me just bring myself back up to full screen. So <clears throat> um, let me just put this disclaimer out. This includes mine. Just make sure when you're watching these YouTube videos that you're getting that information, using it as a, like as a base, and then going out and just trying to get more information i think the key is is that sometimes some of these videos are a little outdated <clears throat> and you want to make sure that you are getting the most up-to-date information as possible so ch check the dates uh, uh hopefully a lot of them i do uh you'll see it in my descriptions when the date when the video was filmed so just lets you know you know oh, okay this was current uh, versus not so some youtubers unfortunately don't put a date and they may upload it this happened a while back where somebody uploaded a video but it was way I mean, months and months after the actual cruise and so there was a lot of confusion and somebody was going back and forth with me saying well this person's video said this and i said well i was just literally on this cruise and i can tell you that that's incorrect so i went back and i did a little bit of digging and found out that that video was filmed you know many many months ago but that that youtuber uh uploaded it you know much later so again causing some confusion for that viewer and uh, anyway so just be aware that um you know ask it in the comments hey when was this film that kind of thing you know so you just are aware but those are my top five uh, i'll be making some more videos about you know carnival cruise first timers and all these different types of things so just keep following along if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel i appreciate it, it helps the channel grow it helps me to provide more content like this and we'll talk to you on the next one take care y'all